Whale sharks are the largest living fish. It is known to grow up to 18.8 meters in length and 45.5 t in weight. However, this is an unofficial record that is not accurate, and the largest size that has been accurately confirmed is about 12 meters in length and 21.5 t in weight. However, unofficial reports of individuals over 14 meters and over 30 t are not uncommon, so it is likely to grow larger in reality. This may be possible because sharks are lifelong animals and whale sharks live so long that they can live for over 100 years. What this means is that it continues to grow as long as it is not caught and killed by people, and in the case of recorded objects. Most of them are captured alive or measured after death. In the case of a female caught in July 1996, she was pregnant with as many as 300 pups, and many of these pups are said to be born slowly and little by little, not all at once. Newborns are about 40 to 60 centimeters tall, befitting the enormous size of adults. It may look small, but it is terribly large compared to the fish that give birth to small fish that are small enough to be called plankton. As you can see from the sunfish, there are many fish that give birth to small babies even when they are large. The skin of a whale shark is very tough and thick, about 10 centimeters thick. The tough and hard skin, the unique skin structure of sharks, and the muscles attached to the skin. With collagen combined to function as a kind of exoskeleton, helping to have strong strength and durability. Despite being identified as a shark, it has very small teeth. There are two main ways to eat food. One is to swim with the mouth open and filter relatively passively incoming water with the gill projections. Way of catching prey. When catching prey, it rises up from the bottom to eat, and sometimes swims horizontally to eat. It feeds on crustaceans, squid, and plankton, and eats small groups of fish such as sardines or anchovies, and even small tuna and albacore tuna. In fact, in the documentary, there was a scene where they swallowed small schools of fish and even the tuna that attacked them. Truly a living vacuum cleaner. They are also known to come around the island to eat the huge number of eggs laid by Christmas Island red crabs. A specialty of Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean. It does not have a fixed habitat and wanders randomly over a wide area. The average swimming speed is very slow, about 5 kilometers h. Contrary to its size, it is docile like most filter eaters, so it doesn't pay attention to the approach of other animals, including humans, and does not respond to direct touch or petting. It is very rare, and it is not a dangerous creature that threatens humans. Even if you see it up close, and it is considered great luck to meet a wild whale shark while scuba diving. So, in waters where whale sharks appear only in certain seasons, such as off the coast of Okinawa, Japan, demand for diving increases during that season. Its rarity is so great that even touching it is banned in Australia. In fact, whale sharks don't really care if humans touch them, but it's for protection. In the area of Oslob on the island of Cebu in the Philippines, there is a tourist spot where you can meet whale sharks right in the water right off the beach, and it is managed by local fishermen and authorities. When whale sharks appeared in fishermen's fishing grounds where food was plentiful and devour fish, the fishermen who could not catch the sharks started to get krill to prevent the whale sharks from eating the fish and sprinkle them to eat instead. After riding a four to six person canoe from the beach and jumping into the water for about three minutes, fishermen sprinkle food, and out of nowhere, a huge whale shark appears and passes right in front of the swimmers, eating their food. However, it is said that he has never swallowed a human. It is strictly forbidden to touch whale sharks, and even if you touch them secretly, there are people watching and you will be caught and fined. Except, of course, when a whale shark brushes a person. It takes three to four hours by car from Cebu City. And it is convenient to use it as many Korean companies and local companies sell packages that combine transportation, whale shark experience, and nearby waterfall tours. You can actually meet the whale shark for about 10 minutes, but it is definitely a wonderful experience. There are many places in the Philippines that collect whale sharks by feeding them like this. It is considered a vulnerable species vu on the IUCN Red List, and starting with the Philippines in 1998. Fishing and sales were banned in India in 2001 and Taiwan in 2007. It has been upgraded to an endangered species on the Red List. As it is a huge creature with a body length of more than 10 meters, it seems invincible that there is no creature to deal with in the sea. But there are cases where some individuals have been attacked by great white sharks or killer whales.
and it is said that the spine of an adult whale shark was found in the stomach of a great white shark. It is said that the great white shark may be a natural enemy that hunts and eats even adult whale sharks. However, it is too early to confirm it as there is a possibility that it may have eaten the corpse of a dead whale shark. It is said that an immature whale shark of about 5.5 meters was attacked and injured by a great white shark estimated to be about 4 meters in length. However, the whale shark did not die, and it recovered considerably in a few years. Due to the excellent regenerative power that is characteristic of the shark species. In the case of killer whales, one observer reported that two killer whales attacked and eventually killed the whale shark. However, the whale shark hunted at this time was an immature individual of about 8 meters, and this size is still not much different from the killer whale. However, killer whales cannot be seen as natural enemies of whale sharks, since they do not overlap in the waters where they live. So there is little chance of encountering them. Killer whales are rare in tropical waters because they prefer cold waters, while whale sharks live in hot waters between the warm temperate zone and the tropics. In addition, the case of a whale shark being attacked by a killer whale is virtually non-existent, except for the cases of immature individuals introduced above, and killer whales cannot touch creatures that are overwhelmingly larger than themselves. Such as humpback whales and blue whales 9 in the case of adults, killer whales cannot be seen as natural enemies. What's more, whale sharks don't appear to exhibit any behavioral changes toward killer whales, unlike larger baleen whales. This means that whale sharks, unlike large baleen whales, are not wary of killer whales. In other words, to whale sharks, killer whales are not a threat enough to be concerned about. So even considering that adult whale sharks have not yet been studied, and not much is known about their ecology, it can be said that they have no natural enemies except for the strongest predators on Earth.